Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, it's so yeah. good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry. Hi, Hi Strawberry. Hi, hello. Oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all going to look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me. Uh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. It looks great. <laughs> Never look better. I love it. it sure does. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface. Uh, oh. Okay, down, please. <sighs> <sighs> I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah so it's nice. nice. It's really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Oh, why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we're we're all all right. sure. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. Get your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love this oh, beautiful yeah. day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry.
hungry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new salon of matic Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The salon matic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the salon matic In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. <laughs> Exactly the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! 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 me, me. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing! They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, 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 Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Mm. Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming mm. friends? Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things, as well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean o -matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean o -matic. Hey, does anybody need a, a you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks, Lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Well, then. Uh, bye, I guess. how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here.
here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course! <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the Cleanomatic next? <laughs> of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mm. Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemons are natural. I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello again. Hi. Hello. Now remember, it's not a picnic. It's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh, no. But, Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. I have an idea. You want?
want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! Now it won't even do anything. What a bust! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Here. Uh, um, how did Wicket where? We just wanted you to stay. <gasps> but it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave. Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst, it never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! Ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, oh no!
sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> Miss Barang, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Strawberry shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. <laughs> Today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah, this. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the Berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the Berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Oh, 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 oh. Only six dozen to 
to go. Oh, no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so... so... so little! You know, if the berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody, they're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just. Hold still while I... Oh, nice! Uh, did I smell bad or something? Uh, no! Uh, patience. <laughs> now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Hey, I try some of that? Oh, boy! <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> oh, wow! Small again? 
Well, I thought they might like being big. Uh. Hmm. Uh, Berry can bloom. You have another spray to make flowers smaller, right? I do indeed. For whatever size you need. So maybe if Raspberry makes more perfume and you mix it in with the other spray... But why does he need to mix it with my perfume? My spray doesn't work that way. It takes more time. So something about the perfume must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. <laughs> I'm just about done here, Barry Can Bloom. Let's go. you used this morning? No, that one is over here. <gasps> oh, very can sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? <gasps> it's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. on a hat. But it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bacon Bloom and I found a way to shrink the Berrykins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! Lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. Figures it 
out soon. The berrykins are too big to keep the berry works running. <gasps> if they can't run the berry works, then no one is making glimmerberry juice. What happens to Berry Bitty City when the juice runs out? Oh, this is absolutely awful. I thought making the Berrykins bigger would be helpful. I didn't think I'd be affecting all of Berry Bitty City. Right now, we're the only ones small enough to run the Berry Works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things. Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's going to run our shops? Fruit salad! Coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it! Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Yes, have some tea on table five. Here's the waffle board at table four. How do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. <laughs> Neither have I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that way. I sure wish we could do it the way the berry can do it. They make it look so easy, but it's not. change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. Things are back to normal. 
You know, I never wished the Berrykins were bigger, but I didn't really appreciate how important it is that everyone in Berry Bitty City is different from one another. Me too. Same here. Yep. So thanks to you and your potion, we actually found out what a big contribution the Berrykins make. No matter how small they are. And how much better they could run the Berry Works than we could. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their own special contribution to make. No matter how big or small, the Berrykins have theirs. <laughs> and we have ours. I know you've had a busy day, but we still have to stomp jam tomorrow. Oh. And I did promise you Berrykin-sized waiters. Hmm, maybe I can get Berrykin Balloon to make me small again so I can... How about if we just help you make more waiters? is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year. So you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> Okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. Oh! <laughs> There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, my, my! Yes, yes, yes! A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so. That Texture! Oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma! Oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found 
found it. Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh, oh, oh no! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the berry fest princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see if you did. Yeah. <laughs> princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! You can do it, Come on, Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! <laughs> At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? A little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Uh, 
Oh, Pupcake Custard. Do you hear that? Mm, it sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! Why won't you tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The berry can tell me that... Oh. oh, my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonder Berry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berrykin Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo-hoo! Okay! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. 
You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds... weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry! I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake! There you go! Come on, now! I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry! It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think... I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure. But I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yeah! 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 
But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very best princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's go reach on Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my card, darling. 
Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. That's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if it's, if it's not, what if she says, who? Raspberry? The dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Fairy Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> that you don't know that's what would happen and you won't know till you call yeah well maybe later i can wait well we can't but our our game <laughs> the game can wait she might make you a fashion star think of the fame the fortune <gasps> the fans oh uh hello yes this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Let's go! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know what 
Which hair scent do you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. <laughs> Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio. <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Ra -ra Raspberry! Oh. She eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, I wonderful, can't wait Raspberry. To love that show. What a welcome to Berry Lady City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... But this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last 
century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. And smiles at the same time We know you gotta go And live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, there's a missing piece. It's so said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know,
know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me! Uh, hiya, Raspberry! Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice! <laughs> That's where we're going! Oh, the very bitty city boat race! I can't believe they didn't remind me! Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the very big city yacht club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going-away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. I wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Thank 
like you. since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Here. Oh, it's just, um, uh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> Nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. 
try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to, and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Oh, good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay, everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not going to be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she... she... <gasps> she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hairstylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry would never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. You're right. She's really yeah. nice about things like this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would... Uh, I would... I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too! Well, then it's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, two, seven, eight, nine! Oh! <sighs> if that isn't the signal for nap time, nothing is. for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh... I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! 
Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry, join me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? Uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> Did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well. It must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamic 
here. Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt. And she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Uh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow! Do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh, the Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never... I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved super glamicures. Uh, super uh, glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! <laughs> Especially the off switch. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
catch the berry kids before they cross the lake to the picnic grounds. <laughs> What's a picnic without dessert? It's a very good thing I forgot to pack the dessert for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Here you go. Have a very good picnic. Thanks, Bye. 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 Ooh, somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here. Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there. Finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. N no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well... Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... For... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow. They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? I, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say. Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery. Thanks. An invitation to Plum's dance recital. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! 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 What? Something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, it must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. 
Hub must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Uh, Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the Baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh, boy. I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh, no! That plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is! Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all going to go. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Password, please. 
sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Huh? The password. It's gas. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, <laughs> it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, why, why, thank you. Oh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, <laughs> are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? 
No. <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. <gasps> what is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum. What can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> 